Oh, hey everyone. This video is about one of my favorite Texas Instruments calculators, the TI Galaxy 67 from 1992. And around a year ago, I made a video about uh, TI 68, which pioneered a lot of features for Texas Instruments, such as fully editable algebraic equations and excellent complex number support. And with the Galaxy 67, TI really evolved to the 68, adding support for fractions and full formula programmability, and they packaged it in a landscape form factor. And it was the last and most powerful calculator in TI's Galaxy series, which included a bunch of low-cost scientific calculators released from the mid-1980s that had internals designed by Toshiba. And the Galaxy 67 is unique, uh, in being the only full uh, alphabetic landscape format calculator that I know of, and it works really well. And so design-wise, the 67 shares a lot of characteristics with others from the Galaxy series. Uh, it has a very similar 12-character display to the uh, 68, and you, you'll notice somewhere around... Uh, the top corners of the display, which was a common problem on this model where the slide-on cover uh, has worn away the plastic. And you'll notice that the 67 uses a different keyboard design from previous Galaxy calculators. Uh, it has these kind of slow, uh, rounded rubber keys, and this may be the weakest part of the 67's design since they do feel, feel a little bit squishy. Um, you'll notice that the keyboard also lacks the third shift key from the 68, and this is a welcome change uh, uh, and it makes the keyboard a lot less busy. The 67 uh, does drop some functionality from the 68, such as support for base functions and unit conversions, but uh, the main way it saves keyboard space is actually by moving functions into menus, which I'll show later. And if we flip the calculator over, uh, you can see the five screws. Uh, that we will need to take out to access the battery compartment. Uh, and so I'll do that now. And so with its uh, backplate removed, you can see the 67 takes a single CR2032 uh, coin cell battery. And uh, you can also see the internals that were designed and manufactured by Toshiba. There's a, a TMP 0620F uh, single chip microcontroller with 1536 bytes of user memory and uh, this drives the keyboard and the display. And I'm not going to go through all the functions in detail, the basic usage is very similar to the 68, uh, but you can enter full algebraic formula uh, and hit enter uh, to evaluate uh, the formula. Uh, and then using the arrow keys, uh, we can go back and um, edit the, the previous formula that was entered. And uh, the 67 supports the same really convenient complex number um, functions as the 68. And so you enter complex numbers as uh, tuples and brackets. So say if we wanted to square i, uh, we would enter uh, 0 comma 1, uh, all squared, and so uh, that's negative 1. And uh, fractions can be entered using uh, the fraction button. So uh, let's say uh, 5 and a third uh, times 2. And um, as I was saying, the calculator supports a bunch of menus. So uh, there's one for statistics functions. Uh, there's one for uh, scientific constants. Uh, there's one for mathematical functions. Uh, one for probability related functions. And then there's a couple of menus related to programming. So um, there are Boolean test comparison operations and also uh, program control functions, so go to if label uh, input and display. So the 67 includes great support for formulas and formula programming. Uh, so if we hit the formula uh, key, we can uh, select through the formulas we've entered and 
Uh, on the 67, there it supports two types of formula. So the simple formula that have a name followed by an equal. So for example, here's my favorite full distance equation, the distance an object falls under gravity in time t. And so to evaluate, uh, uh, we just press enter uh, and we can confirm. And let's um, evaluate for time equals 10 seconds. Um, and we don't want to review our inputs, so uh, the full distance is 490 metres. And with our formula, the 67 can also calculate the numeric integral, uh, find the root, and also the slope of the function at a point. And programs on the 67 are an extension of the simple formula functionality. <clears throat> and so they start with a name... Uh, followed by a colon instead of uh, an equals. And here's an example of a simple number guessing game. It uses a subroutine called RAND, uh, which generates a random number from 0 to 1. And as you can see in the main routine, uh, on the 67 statements are separated by colons. And uh, the language supports uh, text labels. Uh, and the main loop of the program uh, prompts for a guess, uh, and then depending on that guess, um, it will jump to um, one of three different labels, depending on whether it's low or higher or equal uh, to the random number. And so you can run uh, the formula program in a similar way as evaluating a formula by just hitting enter. Uh, so we'll just confirm... Uh, and we'll confirm the input, and no, we don't want to re review the input, so uh, let's just start with a guess of 50, uh, so that's low. And I'll just keep on uh, entering guesses until uh, we hit the right number. And so in summary for me, the TI Galaxy 67 was a really well-designed mid-range scientific calculator, an improvement over the TI-68, and obviously lacks more advanced functions like support for vectors and matrices, but I think what it does provide uh, is very easy to use, and I really like the combination of full alpha support and formula programming. It works really well. I actually wish TI and other manufacturers had made more alphabetic characters like this in uh, landscape format. And TI's Galaxy series was obviously not as successful as um, HP's Voyager's. Uh, that they were clearly inspired by. Uh, they'll probably aim more for a school market. Uh, but I, th I think if you're going to collect one, uh, being the most advanced, the 67 is a good choice. And um, the TI-65 is also quite nice, especially aesthetically. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.